What's going on, everybody? This is Unreal Zeke over gears again. Again. I am ready to smash my face against the wall for doing this commentary so many times and not having it done yet. I have probably done the full length of, of this video and voiced it over and had to and not been happy with it or something happens that completely screws it up and this is oh my god I am so sick of it this is it this is going to be the final product that's just the way it is this is about a month old headquarters match where oh my god I'm losing my train of thought already I'm using light of weight light of weight wow 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 yeah this video is definitely going up for the uh, for the laughs okay this is the first thing I wanted to talk about here look at how I just cleared the entire enemy out of the objective and they're so they were so entrenched in it they were so they were very well set up on it I must say for a team of randoms and that's a perfect example of how kill streaks should be used in objective game modes. Um, the I cannot stand people who will sit back and uh, kill whore. It's oh, it's it's so bad. It's so bad. Um, that's my current feelings about it. But honestly, when it comes to games and or like play styles in Call of Duty, I can be a hypocrite sometimes. But I understand both perspectives of why of the whole kill horning issue. I mean, I can understand you are in a game, you're trying to win, you are really trying, you're sacrificing your stats, you're throwing yourself at the enemy, giving them kill streaks, whatever. You are just doing whatever you can to win. And then the rest of your team, or there's, there's that one or two guys that just aren't aren't interested in the win at all. They're just interested in the kills. They might be like standing right, you know, they might be standing above the objective, and if only they would jump down, and you know, help you out to capture the base or capture the headquarters, then you might win the game. But that is the worst when you have you know those one or two people or even your whole team who just are not willing to to play that objective at all I'm trying to think of a more eloquent way to say it but that's the best I could come up with um, but on the other hand going purely or maybe not purely but going for that I guess you could say that slayer role going for the pure like just killer role is not always such a bad thing if you've seen uh, like any competitive videos of you know, competitive matches like if you watched uh, like uh, what, what am I saying like machinima respawn does uh, game battles uh, call it competitive call of duty game battle matches and in those videos you'll see that some people get designated as a slayer I mean that's not exactly how uh, they set up their team but in all kinds of games and in competitive games people get designated as the slayer and that's their job is to just kill people so I mean on that note if you can kill the enemy if you can keep the enemy team contained if you, not even allowing them to get to the objective at all is not it's not such a bad thing I mean it's it's good offense that's really what it is people say the best defense is a good offense or however that goes that's really that's kind of a perfect example of that if you have a good enough team or if you have a party or whatever and you can designate certain people to purely like try to spawn trap or kill the enemy and get good kill streaks, it's not exactly the worst thing in the world. The, when it gets bad is when you have a team full of randoms and no one's working together. That's 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 when it gets bad. 
Um. Yeah, so that's really all I wanted to say about that. Uh, hmm. What else? Well, you know, I've posted a few commentaries already, and I noticed that I haven't really introduced myself, I guess, like, as a person or whatever. Like, hello, my name is... Hello, my name is Sinanners. Sinanners! I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> I reminded myself of Sinanners' intro there. But, um, so I thought I would maybe just, uh, do that now, like, explain a little bit about me, um, right now I only, I really only play on PlayStation, uh, I do play on PC sometimes. My gamer tag is, uh, Unreal underscore Zeke, um, and believe it or not, my name is actually Zeke in real life, um, it's not actually, Zeke is a shortened version of it. My full name is actually Ezekiel, but I much prefer a shortened version of it since it uh, reduces the amount of pain that I feel inside when people say my name. So I, I honestly don't mind the shortened version as much. Um, I started out in my uh, my whole gaming, my whole interest in gaming really started out when I was like. Hmm, maybe four or five, somewhere in the four to six years old region, I'd say. I started out on PC with just a little, like, I don't even know. Like, the one game I remember is Shipwrecked, or Shipwreck. Shipwrecker? I don't remember. I'm sure someone out there is like, yeah, Shipwrecker, best game ever. If you do, then I applaud you for knowing which game I'm talking about. But, so I played that for quite a while, and eventually I moved up to a PlayStation 1 with my uh, my brother and sister. We all had to invest in it. That was a stipulation. Um, that's when I really got interested in, like, Metal Gear, the Metal Gear series, which that was the staple game of PS1 for me. Um, other games, I don't really remember any other PS1 games. Um, but then... It took a long, long time, but then eventually we upgraded to a uh, PlayStation 2, and oh man, that was such, such an amazing time to be a gamer. Um, Grand Theft Auto, the new Metal Gears that were coming out, uh, Gran Turismo, and I, again, I can't remember too many, but there were so many good ones. Um, and then I think. I think it was like three years ago, maybe almost four is when I finally bought my own PlayStation 3 and that was uh, that was when uh, things got serious. Um, I was considering an Xbox actually at the time, but I finally uh, made the right decision. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Xbox honestly isn't a bad system. I don't want to start like a, I don't know. I don't want people to think that I hate the Xbox or anything, but it's it's a good system. I I honestly haven't played it much, but you know, really, I don't mind it. And here are those epic suicides back to back. I start, I kill myself with my own napalm. I could have swore I threw this grenade in the doorway, but I guess I didn't. And. <laughs> Yeah, so at this point I'm pissed and I'm throwing myself at the objective. But, uh, so yeah, I I got that PS3 and oh my, it was the most amazing thing. And then uh, I started playing uh, Metal Gear Online. Metal Gear and uh, Call of Duty 4, my first online multiplayer games. And that's where, MGO is where I met uh, Idaho 7 and uh, I guess Hokian Knight? is what you guys might know him by but the other members over over years that's where I met them and since then it's all been history haven't regretted a minute of it so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary if you did please leave a like or comment or whatever you want to do and uh, I'll leave that up to your discretion and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys later